Greetings, geeks, and welcome to another installment of Long Box Roulette. Yes, we have a lot of fun here, going around, digging through our boxes blindly, trying to find something exciting that we haven't thought about in a while, or that you yourselves maybe didn't even know existed. What's hiding in there? We'll find out. Uh, so, Michael, why don't you kick us off? All right, let's see what we got. <clears throat> I'm going to try to go through some, some DC stuff and okay. see what I got going on. I pulled this one in a different one. <laughs> <laughs> oh i don't even know if i remember this one hmm this is legends of the dark knight number eight from 1990 i don't know what it's about <laughs> i don't remember <laughs> yeah i know they would bring in different artists for different runs oh i have that on vhs just right over here of course you do <laughs> <laughs> So this looks like an like almost like an early telling of an early Batman story because look at that costume. Yeah, interesting. And it's a uh, I don't know. Let's see, who's it even by? Uh, this is by Grant Morrison and Klaus Janssen. Okay. And uh, yeah, it's like a there's some French writing on the front of the page that I can't translate, so I don't know what it. Uh, but the issue is called the burning nun oh a little dark. <laughs> dark already got my attention yeah but uh it's can so... you see like a, a prime villain there oh yeah look at that bat plane that's a whirly gig or something i don't yeah. know how they call that so some let's see okay uh morgan stern is the villain Mr. Morgenstern, some sort of gangster. He's he's throwing people off of rooftops. <laughs> <laughs> That'll get it done. I guess so. Um, yeah, I don't know this one. I don't know. Our, I don't remember this. This might be one of those that I like got at a drugstore where it was like a pack of like four or five, and just was like, oh, okay, bought it. But Batman is underwater <laughs> and walking on stairs underwater there. No, His weighted right. boots, I guess. <laughs> the '90s are weird. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a powerhouse team. I mean, if you're talking yeah. Batman, Grant Morrison and Klaus Janson. So, what is this? Oh, this tree. Ooh, that is interesting, huh? I I think I had a Miss Tree comic, but it was like an independent comic. I wonder if DC was like distributing it for a while, or they're yeah. just taking ads from other other publishers doesn't say yeah it says you know it just has a dc brand on it but but yeah so you know, this is my first pull you know, batman legends of the dark knight number eight from from june of 1990 interesting what do you got yeah. next Let's see what i find here ah oh, reaching back reaching back oh well this is a pretty interesting one you know we have the series coming up on disney plus here shortly we have a what if comic. Ooh. So this is, yeah, what if the Fantastic Four second child had lived? My buddy Jeff, my best friend, who I do my sequel quest podcast with, he has told me that this is one of the comics that disturbed him the most. Really? Like, that he's ever read. Like it just scared him it freaked him out because inside you know like their daughter who lives basically becomes evil i mean she basically has too much power i mean there's all sorts of weird stuff going on here i mean just look at look at got the aliens and stuff going on i don't know what's uh, the brood like i don't i don't know what, what this is all about i haven't read this one in a long time but uh, but don't yeah. reed and sue have two children uh they have I, franklin richards and a, a, a see, this one we even here for he's off partying right now right and, uh, he would really be able to help us understand but i don't know yeah I, don't... I i think currently in the comics they have you know rich franklin and then like valeria richards uh, which is a blonde girl i wonder if maybe they yeah. retconned it and brought her back at some point she gets shot here so she was up to no good somebody decided to take her out but the family's sad about it so uh, <laughs> honestly the most exciting thing about this book is the back cover because we got oh, i love these ads 
I do too. Those ads are awesome. When, and when we, this is what's fun because it actually tells you it's at Toys R Us. So, <laughs> it's good to know. But look at, have you ever seen this before? I have a lot of comics that have this where they print it wrong. Do you see how it's like, it's bigger than the book? Yeah. And then they fold it under and that's how they get over it. Like I've never seen that before. Or I if, if I have, that. I don't really. Yeah, it's weird. I, I don't know why I get all the junk books. What's wrong with me? I wonder if it's just like, like they didn't cut right on the machine. From the... Yeah, it's the printer's fault. And then yeah. somehow they have a machine that then folds it over. So they're like, uh, it wasn't our fault. No, it was... <laughs> I will say this one on the back real quick. I'll just show it because I, I, I usually double, you know, my bags of boards have double side of it. This one's a little cooler. This one here. What if Spider-Man had kept his cosmic powers? Ooh. So, I mean, that's, I've always wanted to get those issues, actually, and find out what it was like when he had them, you know, in the main continuity. Mm-hmm. But, uh, yeah, so it's pretty interesting stuff here. They, you know, I always love how they would recap what really happened, and then they tell you what's to come. But you see here that later on, a lot of video game ads in here, uh, that Peter kind of becomes crazy and obsessed with being Captain Universe, you mm. know, so he's no longer uh, able to give her the love that she needs. Um, but the one thing I want to show you in here that just came up, this is a short-lived thing. I would love to know if anybody participated in Wham, which was a <laughs> Marvel fan club, right? Wild Agents of Marvel. So you could order your kit right here and get everything you wanted. To and be- that's not W-H-A-M, the George Michael band. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, the stuff that they're offering here is kind of like you get individually numbered membership card, quarterly newsletter, cloison badge and wall certificate, office portfolio pen and stationery, and catalogs and stuff available exclusively to WAM members. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. We'll get all those uh, X Men t shirts and other Marvel comics <laughs> were advertising that were never in stores. That's funny. All right. I'll see what my next one is. I don't know what I'm going to get here, but. I did that one already. What the hell? Hold on. You have like 20 log boxes. How do you always pull the same ones? Because I've been trying. <laughs> Like I've been trying to get through one box and see how many I can find. Oh. Okay. This box also has some Marvel in it. Oh. This is a book that someone gave me. I've never, ever read it. I just put it in a box and called it a day because I was afraid of it. And I was always afraid of this character as a kid. <laughs> oh. <sighs> so this is Ghost Rider number 34. Um is this the uh which ghost rider is this do you know uh, it should still be the dan catch yeah danny danny catch version of ghost rider because that looks like a 90s book so yeah this is 93 yeah yeah so this is definitely uh howard mackie is the writer so yeah it must yeah be. so that was right in the middle of all that so, so literally right, right in the beginning i'm already would be terrified <laughs> I opened it. I'm like, oh no, can't read this. You don't think that's cool? You think that's scary? I would be scared as a kid. Please. I had nightmares over the littlest thing. But there's a T2 arcade game advertisement in there, which is kind of cool. I remember playing that. I did too. I love that game. I remember there was an Aerosmith game that was almost identical to the T2 game where you were shooting things. There was. Yeah, I do. Weird. Uh, Here's a cool ad for it, though. We all must deal with the monster within. Mm, very famous, yes. It's kind of, it's dark. It's dark. It is dark. It's weird. I mean, Hulk dealt with those issues in his comic stories. So. Yeah. yeah, I never read this, not at all, but I, you know, interesting that I even have it, but it's a, it's cool looking. The art is really nice. I dig it. But there's, there's ads for, uh, for spawn and valiant comics in the back of this book oh okay well yeah i mean that, that was very famous for that what was that american publishing or what did they what was the name of that company that ran that ad do you see it because usually it had like an eagle and then it would say like american something or other uh you know, it says it doesn't say it's just a but like, like a like a price guide actually of these issue of these books ah, interesting interesting in the oh, back yeah. of a marvel comic weird um and again another ad for game genie 
they really wanted to push that Game Genie back in the day. <laughs> I only had, they showed the Game Boy Game Genie in that. That's the one I had. I didn't have it for my main system. I had it for my Game Boy. I had one for my regular Nintendo, and I think I had one for my Sega Genesis. You just one a point. cheater all around. Just... Oh, big time. <laughs> <laughs> big time. So, okay. Yeah. Ghost right. Rider comic. Never read a Ghost Rider comic in my life, let alone <laughs> didn't know I had one. So. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, I'm always up for an issue of Resurrection Man. Uh, and this is this is one of the last issues. This is issue 25. I don't have 26, and then on the back is 27. Which okay, was the last issue of the series. It only ran. Well, if anybody has 26, you're gonna throw it my way. Let me know. <laughs> uh, but what was funny about this is this is an issue with the Forgotten Heroes, and I don't know if you can recognize anybody on there just from their weird silhouettes. No, who are they? I can't. So, but inside, it's a little easier when they're in color. Okay, Animal Man. Uh, I don't know who the other ones are. I can't tell. Yeah, the other ones are actually pretty obscure. I'm trying I'm to sure. see if they list them again here because I think they came together in the previous one i think it's like somebody named carson who i think might have been part of like the challengers of the unknown and all of that but a vandal savage i think was part of this group as well um yeah vandal savage is who i guess he's who they're battling he's trying to convince uh and then this is there was this character in the 80s called vigilante but oh yeah i know vigilante yeah a female version of vigilante huh yeah Interesting. And Vigilante's popped up a, a, a few times in the past couple of years, both on TV, uh, animated series, and in the comics. Mostly, oh, okay. it's usually a male character. I didn't know they, they even did a female version of it. That's kind of cool, though. Yeah, but of course, I'm most excited. The Ray has a cameo. The Ray is part of the team. So there we go. Doing what he can do. Looking a lot like... Uh... What was that guy from New Mutants, Sunspot? I was yes. going to say Burnout. I was like, that's Gen 13. That's wrong. <laughs> uh, what I find most interesting about this, though, is that, um, so I showed you that image at the beginning, and then this one is almost identical. It's On like, the last it's like page? two versions of it, though they just put it in the back or something, because it's not a pinup. I mean, that's part of the story, but it looks almost the same as this opening shot. Look at that. It, it literally is there. the same, just like the background has changed. They just took yeah. the tre trees away and made mountains instead. <laughs> that's really weird. But that's yeah, weird. Resurrection Man, still one of my favorites. Make a movie. Give us a TV series. Resurrection Man. Just HBO Max, get on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, that is it. We hope you enjoyed this installment of Long Box Roulette. I think we found some pretty cool comics to share with you there. And of course, if you have something that you've been digging through your Long Box, you want to show it to us, go ahead and uh, throw a picture up on social media at Wizards Comics on Twitter, at Wizards underscore comics on Instagram. We would love to see it and respond, give you our thoughts. Of course, you can go over to patreon.com forward slash Wizards Comics to get a whole bunch of exclusive content, including our 90s super cinema series that Michael and Steven are running. They just did an awesome episode about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie from 1990. We had a very cool guest who his perspective on... Oh, man. He schooled me, man. He schooled yeah. me. He knows about the old comics. Like, he knows it all. So, it's a really good listen. There's a preview on Patreon. You can take a little listen if you like what you hear. Well, now why not throw five bucks our way? We'll keep, keep buying cool stuff to show you and you get you know more than an hour's worth of discussion on these things and every month uh 90 super cinema you will vote on social media for which movie from one year of the 90s you want them to cover and i might even pop in on a few of them here and next one is what michael the rocketeer yes <laughs> can't for wait the anniversary for the rocketeer you know you want it you voted for it so come on over to patreon and get the full experience but until next time keep your books bagged and boarded <laughs>